Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. Today we're going to be looking at how to create this sort of motion graphics in uh, Blender uh, using Geometry Nodes. So yeah, let's jump in. So this was inspired by something I saw on Behance. I'll be leaving links in the description if you want to check his profile out. Uh, but I wanted to do something like this quickly without spending too much time. So this is what I managed to do. And uh, these are very, very simple things that you can do in Geometry Nodes. But uh, if you don't know how to use Geometry Nodes, I have a course uh, that uh, teaches everything that I'm doing here. But uh, this is going to be very, very, very simple. Uh, you can see I'm using a few things that are repeating uh, these are uh, the two main things I'm using. Uh, I have this uh, geometry nodes object and uh, it's basically a curve uh, that I turn into points. Let me just set this up. So I'm using a curve circle, a curve circle like this. Turn this to points, a curve to points. I'm rushing through this because it's quite simple to do and uh, it's not that complicated. I'm basically creating a radio array here and I'm instancing on points and the, the object I'm instancing is this object here. Bring that in. So if I take a look at this and uh, the rotation, uh, I can use uh, this, uh, scale this down. And if you use a rotate rotation, rotate rotation, you can rotate this in any way you want. I think this is 90 on the y the rotation everything and uh, the scale so i'm um, setting that into a parameter here uh, let me first duplicate this and uh, i i can expose i expose the radius i teach how you can do all of these in geometry in my geometry nodes course if you are confused uh, but uh, yeah so basically exposing this radius here so that i can control it outside uh, by just plugging it into the input here then i'm animating these in a way that uh, makes makes it look like a clock so if i play back uh, let me first hide some of these so you can see i'm setting up a few keyframes uh, for example to make this rotate like mechanical animation uh, the one you see in the animation uh, you can see that behind there uh, this here those are simple keyframes so for example let me see i can yeah i can set a keyframe for this so let me set this to 90 Add a keyframe and I can open up the curve editor. Uh, that's this. I uh, just isolate the this rotate by. I think. Let me see. Can I get it? Is it this? Yeah, it's this. So all I have to do is uh, just set up the motion. Let me first isolate this. Shift H. Set up the motion I want. I'm going to duplicate this so that we have that. And uh, now I can repeat it. Let me just duplicate this. I can repeat this using a modifier, uh, the cycles modifier. So you can see that this motion is going to repeat just like that. So uh, if I wanted to, because right now it resets, we get the rotation. Let me first disable this other rotation. So you see, it's basically just doing a turn. If I want it to be continuous, all I have to do is change the after mode to repeat with offset. And we have uh, an animation like that. If I wanted to be to have some inertia, I can just uh, play with these. Uh, maybe just duplicate this a bit on the X. Also duplicate it again. If, okay, if this is too fast. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Uh, that's, a, that's how I set up all of these animation, just playing with the keyframes for these and uh, just giving them that mechanical animation. Let me return uh, the other. So yeah, just changing the count, uh, animating these the way I want in any way I want uh, to make them look more mechanical. So you can see this, we are getting a really nice animation and uh, just having layers and layers of this. I also have uh, this uh, grid here, uh, this circuit like grid, uh, you can see, and it's actually animated. And I think you see that at the beginning of the animation, just look at these dots here as uh, they are animating. It's a very short animation, but I think it adds 
to the animation a bit. And uh, the way I set that up was uh, I had a subdivided grid. Uh, this is so like this, subdivide it a few times, and uh, then I use the edge path, uh, edge path to curves to curve node to curves node to create these edge paths, these different edge paths, and show how I explain this this node more in the, the course. But uh, it basically just creates edge paths like this that you can convert into uh, curves uh, that you can animate. So you can see this curve now grows. I remesh it and instance some dot, some dots on it to turn it into a circuit into a circuit by the way you can also check out the project files on my patreon page i'll be leaving links in the description so uh these actually i think for the most part that's uh, that's it uh, the other thing i did was uh, this countdown mesh so you can see i also have this number with slight and uh, it's basically a countdown and the way I set that up you just use a string to curves node we need a string to use uh, instead of typing some something here uh, what you could do you could use uh, a value to string converter uh, so that you can convert some value and uh, we need to fill this uh, fill curve and uh, what we want is the current frame, so I can use uh, the time uh, node, and uh, you can see I get uh, the current frame. But uh, if you want it to be slow, uh, you can just divide the current frame. So divide uh, using a math node, a math node. I just divide uh, by say ten, and uh, that would mean that uh, on every ten second you will get a count. So one, two, three, four. Uh, if that's if you want uh, a countdown, you can subtract uh, the current frame from a value. So let's say ten. If you want a countdown from ten, uh, subtract, and uh, now you can. Is it is it that way? Ah, so just use a hundred uh, minus, and then you can subtract. You just use a bigger number, and uh, then you can see we are subtracting, done. Uh, so up to, but then it goes to negative numbers if you don't want to go to negative numbers all you have to do is use a switch node uh, here and you want to switch uh, since this is a string uh, we can switch this to string and the condition should be if uh, the value we get here is less than less than zero so use a compare node if the value is less than zero if this value is less than zero uh, we should switch to whatever value here uh, i used boom so now we count down from 10, 8, yeah, is, did I skip a number? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and boom, boom. Okay, we can say if it's less than 1 so that we don't show the, the zero. So that's just, that's the way you set up that. Uh, but you can say that uh, mine is uh, it's like a digital um, pixelated uh, number like that. Uh, let me just show you. The mesh here so you can see i, I used a, a font that looks better like that and i uh, i duplicated these so we have a few layers here so i can increase uh, the count uh then uh, so i realized this and i distributed a bunch of points on these and then instanced uh, some grid uh, this grid onto onto these and then uh yeah, so the countdown still works. Everything still works. I uh, also wanted it to look more pixelated. So I randomized the scale here. Uh, without this, you get just uh, these cubes, uh, these grids. Uh, but uh, I wanted it randomized. And uh, everything else is just randomizing the pixels. And uh, then uh, to create this beam, uh, because I have uh, these curves, you realize them. And uh, convert them to a mesh, extrude the mesh, and uh, push the extruded part up, and uh, you have that. And uh, then everything else is just assigning a uh, submaterial just uh, like that. And uh, then you get that light uh, that changes. Uh, for the for the material, uh, still the same thing. Uh, I just uh, I just used a gradient uh, that goes that fa that faces up, and uh, just added some noise. To make these look like uh, lines uh, that are fading up, 
like that. I think I also animated the noise a bit, so you can see that little bit of animation. Yeah, the the rest of the thing is uh, basically I'm reusing the same node. I just playing with the animation, and so you can see this is still the same uh, node with everything. Uh, I'm just playing with the animation to make it look like clockwork, and uh, uh, this is the same thing. It's actually using the same object. Uh, this is the same object, also rotated differently, animated differently, and. Uh, uh, the other thing was just the materials. You can see how simple this setup is. I'm not using anything that complicated. Even the geometry nodes is not that complicated. Uh, the materials are also not that complicated. It's just uh, it's just a, a principal uh, material with a circuit a circuit board for the roughness uh, to get that rough uh, to get that uh, circuit board like a material. Uh, then what else? I think that's it. I don't really have, uh, yeah, I, I think that, that's it for that part. Uh, then what else, what else, what else? Let me see. Yeah, the other thing is just setting up the lighting and uh, uh, adding some sound and this is what we ended up with. Again, if you want to check this out and uh, if you like this type of content, let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.